Glenn Beck is best known as a fiery and sometimes controversial commentator on current events. But there's a side of Glenn Beck you don't often see. I sat down with him in his Manhattan studios yesterday to talk about his latest work of fiction. It's a story that involves living with abuse, and it's inspired by his own childhood. Somebody said, you know, um, for people who don't know you, this, this book will come as a surprise. And I said, well, of course, they don't know me. I know. I'm much more than the cartoon characters. That are just pressing the buttons. And it's this Glenn Beck. Really He's the fat cat, Lord of the Underworld. That's the, the outspoken of. commentator that Something most people are wrong. familiar with. Very wrong. But in his latest fiction book, The Snow Angel, Beck tells a story of abuse and redemption inspired by his own childhood. We never even talked about my mother's suicide. She died when I was in my teens. She drowned. Yeah. Um, was it suicide? Uh, you know, the jury is out. You don't, you don't know. Still a mystery. I think we all avoided it because when you live in an alcoholic family or an abusive family, you, um, you tiptoe. So it is quite autobiographical then in that sense. Even though yeah. the names are changed, it's all part of what makes Glenn Beck you. Right? Yeah. It was, um, gosh, now, Let's take a moment. now the Today Show is going <laughs> to no. make fun of me again. No, they're not. Abuse is generational. I told my dad a few years back, you've set the football down, Dad, mm -hmm. and you've moved it so far down the field from your father. Um, but it's my turn now. And uh, that's really the inspiration of this story. Beck has spoken openly about his own battle with alcoholism. I was actually angry with God. I remember driving and I'm saying, look, I, I prayed to you for, for a week. I've been telling you I'm at the end. And I told you on this day, on Thursday, I was going to the bar and I'm going to drink. And I asked you, roadblock, help me out. Nothing. And I went to the bar and I ordered a Jack and Coke. I grabbed it and I turned around and I locked eyes with Tanya who I had met two other times before briefly in passing. And I realized that was my roadblock. And before I took the drink, I set it down, I walked over, and I asked her if she wanted to go and have a cup of coffee with me, and we haven't been apart since. Beck married Tanya. A father of four, he says he's been sober for 17 years. Because in June, he left Fox show. News after it was reported his show struggled to find advertisers. An amazing ride. Hello, America, and welcome to the very first episode and the first day of the future. And in and September, he launched his new subscription-based online like, venture, said, GBTV. I met you only one other time before, and it was at the Today Show studios. And you had, you're a big guy, but you had about five huge guys around you. That's just a part of life for you, isn't it? Yeah. And for your entire family. Yeah. It's, Has it been um, worth it, Glenn? Only he will answer that. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be my kids. I wouldn't want to be my wife. Um, but uh, it's what comes with it. Good and bad, that's the bad. What happens, happens. We do the right thing. We try to. He's so very different from so much mm -hmm. you've read about. Sure. He's actually a very uh, genuine person, cares very deeply about many, many things, often speaks truth that people don't want to hear, such as the potential collapse of our economic system or, or you know, violence in the streets, things that we don't want to look at. He's yeah. not always right. He admits that. Um, he's very human. But um, obviously, obviously, he's a lightning rod for an awful lot of yeah, uh, attention. But the person I met yesterday is very different, and, and I was quite warmed by him. Yeah, he seemed, he was much more emotive, I think, than I, had, I would have imagined him to you'd be. You'd like him, Hoda. You really would. Hmm. The one I met yesterday, you'd yeah. like a lot. <laughs>